Okay, guys and gals, are you ready for it? Let's do it. Let's do some gears. so I can uh, get it back into neutral. That's the first running through the gear. Tight, I'm thinking I may need to tighten up my um, spring back here. I'm thinking it might not be tight enough. When I had it running before in there, with it vibrating and so forth, this was bouncing pretty good. You wouldn't think it would but I may have to put a bracket going from here across to the block to tighten it up. Um, and uh, yeah, it's a few other little things. It doesn't seem to be charging. I'm not exactly sure why. And my tachometer is not accurate, uh, which doesn't surprise me because uh, I, I didn't pay attention when I was ordering it evidently. These numbers on my tachometer are by the thousand. And uh, so this is not going to run much more than 2,000 at the most, or maybe 3,000, I guess 3,500, 4,000 maybe. Yeah. 
And I want you to know it's uh, it's pretty cold in here. My fluorescent lights over overhead here have not come on. Those back there are LEDs, and these up here are LEDs. And some of those are fluorescent over there. I'm not sure why this one hasn't come on light yet, but got to change them up. Put LEDs in there, and I won't have that problem. Get rid of some snow. I'm I'm getting tempted if I get my front wheel squared away. The snow's not deep and it's real cold so it won't stick. I might just take it out in the snow. That would be make a cool photograph, wouldn't it? Nice clean background. Anyway, thanks for watching, commenting, and subscribing. Till next time, this is George, the Shade Tree Fix It Man. Bye for now. Well, make sure when you pick up a, a vintage light bulb box that you check to see if the bottom is open or not. <laughs> we'll have to buy another one of them.